Hi, I'm Ruben from Unknown Mortal Orchestra. You want to know what when when I started writing? Yeah. Uh, so um, the the songs were written on the road um, in 2011 mostly, and um, the, it all happened at night. You know, I was mm -hmm. kind of um, living. I kind of lived most of my life at night, unless I have to kind of get up for something <laughs> and do it like live in the day and, and, and do something during the day. I'm usually um, staying up all night and sleeping all day. So um, on the road it was like you play a show and that would be the beginning of the day kind of. You play the show and then go out or whatever. And then um, so all of the songs have this like theme of things that happen at night and stuff like that. And then when I got back to Portland, um, I was kind of fried and like I'd really like worn myself out. And I um, finally got home and got into the basement. <clears throat> and I was recording at night as well. So, um, so it's really like I don't know. I feel like the whole thing is about darkness. Kind of. It's not. It's not that different from the first one in, in that sense because I think the first one is a little bit like that as well. But. It was just, um, I didn't realize that there was a theme, and then more afterwards I kind of listened back to the lyrics and everything. I saw so there was this like, there was, it was totally a, there was a, like a theme. And I put, I could like sequence the album to have like this thing of um, like what time of night it was, you know? And at, at one point there's, a, there's like a, an interlude called Dawn, which is kind of like, when, when the sun comes up, you know, you've been mm -hmm. up all night and the sun comes up. And, um, and then the next song talks about that feeling of like going out into the world, like after you've been up all night and like, you know, the sun hits your eyes and stuff. Like this, um, and that like stinging feeling in your eyes and stuff, all, all those kind of like ideas were in, were in the album, like everything that kind of continually happens over and over again when you stay up all night. So I don't know, that was kind of, that was it. Um, so the, with the first album, I think like uh, I accidentally, kind of accidentally discovered my formula, like a formula of music that I think that I would would, would be able to carry on with it for, for a while, you know. I kind of accidentally discovered um, the, con you know, like the contents of, you know, of myself. <laughs> it's kind of like a because I was making the music for myself, so mm. I, I I found this style of music and stuff that it was really um, was really personal. And then um, with the new record, I I kind of um, yeah I, I I was making the record knowing that people were going to hear it, but I, it was kind of too late because I'd already discovered you know what I would have been doing. If, if, um, if nobody gave a shit, you know, <laughs> so I was kind of, um, so I was, uh, it wasn't that different. I think people, um, people might think it was harder to make the second one or whatever, but I found myself in the basement working all night on a psych record, which is basically the same thing, you know, as I did on the first record, so, um, but I did put a little bit of extra effort into this one that I, that wasn't in the first one. Um, and like, I always think of it as like a, as cooking, you know, if you cook yourself a meal, um, then you're going to make it, you're only going to make it to a certain, um, you know, you, you know what, you know how good it has to be for yourself, so you just whip something up, yeah. but if you're making um, food for your family or for a friend or something like that, then you, you kind of, you know what I mean, you put like, extra, you know, sprinkle parmesan at the end and <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. So it was, it has, it has, um, what I'm trying to say is there's parmesan cheese on this new album. <laughs> it's like garnishes and stuff. Um, yeah, well, I, and, you know, like the Min Chicks, I think, um, part of what that band was about was, um, was like a self, self-sabotage and like, um, I think we knew that there was 
part of what kind of was exciting about music at that time. And um, with this thing here is the this is the Imagex kind of logo, you know, mm. and it's like the hand that cuts itself off, you know. It's like a um, what's that thing? What's that saying? Um, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like you're cutting. It's like you're cutting your own hand off. You know, <laughs> it's like you're attacking something, but it's like you're attacking your ability to attack or something. So it's like always. That was always the way that we did everything. But now uh, it's di it's different now. I just like in the in UMO. Like, I mean, first of all, it's me and Cody aren't doing it together. So um, I think our pattern of of crea creativity is like is like a mandala style. You like build up something and it just like. Whoosh, you know what I mean? Sweep it off and start again. Yeah. I think that's just we can't we can't really work together without that happening. So that's part of it. But like nowadays, I just you know I just make music and I go and play music and I just build builds on top of it. And, and also like it wasn't very fun like being in the chess. <laughs> I mean it was fun to record and it was fun on a creative level, but it wasn't fun on an everyday kind of level. It was it was always some drama or something. Yomo is more like. Um, and going around, going all over the world, making friends, having fun, doing, you know, have a uh, doing like, it's like, it's wild but not in a negative, crazy kind of dra dramatic kind of way, you know, mm. it's more like just good fun, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or just uh, at least like, uh, it's, a, it's more, uh, it's more hedonistic rather than destructive, you know, and uh, and that's where I'm. That's kind of like the at the age I'm at now. It's like way more what I'm what I'm into. I, I don't want to. I don't want um, a bunch of drama and um, destruction. Like I don't want to break my gear. It's just like a hassle. Like, <laughs> I don't want to smash my guitars. You know. Um, actually, what am I talking about? I smashed two guitars on tour. I don't smash guitars on stage. I smash guitars <laughs> when I'm like hanging out in the car park and getting wasted or something. I, and if it's funny, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like it feels like everything that I do in this band is more like building, building something rather than kind of uh, the whole experimental sandbox thing of um, the Mitchicks, which I kind of I think now. But I look back at it, the Mitchicks is kind of like school for what I'm doing. Like mm. figuring out things, like bringing things in and throwing them away, just like to see what I really like. And I think I, I think I know what I like now. So it's made me more opinionated, but uh, less experimental, I think, because I've kind of like done my experiments. And I, you know, now I'm kind of like trying to get as much um, of the results, you know, of the experiments, <laughs> trying to show as much like productivity as I can. Instead of, because I, I don't think you can experiment forever. Because um, you know, some bands like that constantly experiment. It gets to the point where they're just like, is there any reason that you're experimenting, or are you just experimenting? Because mm -hmm. uh, you end up being like, you end up doing your experiments for everyone else. Everybody takes like a piece of what you've discovered when when you're doing it and turns it into a whole band. You know, so I decided to turn turn certain aspects of what we were, what we were doing into my own band that that reflects what I am. Like go, go forward with that. Yeah, um, yeah so uh, UMO's new album two comes out um, the first week of February. Either February one or February five. <laughs> I can't remember. And uh, yeah, go out and get a few like psychedelic uh, rhythm and blues. <laughs>